All right, now that we got the uh, lower plenum off, um, what you're gonna see is uh, these are gonna be the covers covering up. Uh, well, the connectors are kind of built into these for the injectors. Uh, it's kind of hard to see down there. I've already started lifting this one up. Um, best way I've found to do this is uh, just to lift. You gotta be gentle because this plastic, you know, these days is quite old. Um, and just kind of shake it back and forth and they'll start popping up. You'll hear little pops as they all start to come off. Uh, and so once this is off, we can start hooking up our harness. All right, we're working on this E39M5 and we're about to install our harness. So you got it laid out, longest to shortest here. Um, and I'm gonna show you what you need to do. This is very important on these. A lot of the M cars have these individual throttle bodies. Um, but like the uh, E90 series and the E60 series, uh, the injectors are on the opposite side of the throttle bodies is the linkage. That is not the case uh, here on the uh, E39M5s. So you need to be really careful when installing your harness that it doesn't get in the way of the throttle linkage. You can see this isn't buttoned up yet, but you can see that throttle linkage there and it goes back in there. And any part of this harness that gets in the way of that is going to cause all kinds of problems. And being that you got to take all this stuff apart just to get in here, it's not going to be fun to have to take everything back apart once you've installed it because you got a wire in the wrong spot. Also to note, since I have this one already put in here, you need to make sure you give room. I get this thing to zoom. You don't want to crush these wires uh, down and it'll rip the wires out of the connector. So you need to make sure all of the connectors aren't having the wires ripped out of them. And it's really tricky on this setup. Uh, and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get these all unhooked from the injectors. They just, it just lifts off. Uh, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to do a video of the back one. There's just no way I can get in there. Um, but I'll do another video of getting it set up here on this injector up here. All right, so I'm gonna try and show you the last uh, hook up here. So what you're gonna do is if I've had to shift these back once they're all unplugged to get everything to line up right. I'm gonna lift up. There's no way I can show you this properly. Get your connector on there, push down, and it'll clip in. And then you're gonna get, I found a good way to get the wires, keep them from tangling up on everything, is run your male plug underneath the fuel rail That'll keep it away from the um, the linkage, the throttle bodies. And go ahead and get your connector up in there. She got it. I'm trying to I'll click in. And then, as I mentioned in the other video, you're going to have to secure all this wires really neatly and away from that throttle linkage. Probably zip tie them all really well right to the fuel rails here so they don't interfere with the throttle linkage and make sure you're not pulling the wires out of the connectors. All right, so a little update on the installation. What we have to do is on the fuel injectors, it's pretty easy to see this one, is you have to rotate them. They point up this way for the cover to go on. So when you unplug the cover, you're going to want to rotate all the injectors and they're all going to face a different direction to get them to plug in. And you'll plug the female side onto the injector and the male side will plug back into the cover. And as you can see, this isn't cleaned up yet, but then everything will fit down and uh, don't expect it to be easy by any means. But you can get it down, and then next thing I'm going to do is secure all this um, away. Obviously, we don't want any wires to interfere with the linkage. Everything has to be tucked away really neatly. All right, so we got our harness all installed here. Uh, we got it all secured. You can pretty it up as much as you want. Um, but we got all the wires out of the way of the throttle linkage. It's not interfering in any way. None of the wires are being pulled or smashed. Uh, so we're going to position these and put our uh, lower plenum back on.